questions. So, now guys, I'm going to ask you for a very early prediction. I'm not going to ask you who's going to win nationals, but I'm I was going gonna... to tell you who's going to win. But yeah. all right, but who do you think's even going to win the first game? Who do you think is the team that's going to go? You know what? We need to put our mark on this three-game series now. What's the team to do that? Uh, I think Wolfpack from Blue, I think, are going to make a fairly big statement in this first game. Um, I think Spartans on Red. With Drake's holding something in I here. But I keep going. Yeah. I think the the beauty of the Spartans in this game uh, has been Mad Cans being able to run around and open up a game. And I just don't know if that's going to happen uh, with the Wolfpack Blue Bees. Um, and then with the Beavers on green, I think that's even less likely. So I think what I've seen traditionally the Spartans do really well, you know, is they're able to break those unbreakable bases, you know, with their with their high speed, their, their big lunges, and, you know, it just, it just works. It's like with their really good fundamental holds and just like good flow in and out of uh, defensive bases and that just unwavering assault of players diving in and cracking bases so you know I think Wolfpack are going to be able to put a stop to that in this first game with this colour configuration but yeah that's what I reckon see finals grand finals is a very different beast to every other every other game in the competition in final series in the past the first game of the grand final has always been extremely, extremely defensive. Often we'll only see a couple of bases going off in the game, whereas the rest of the games will be highly aggressive. People will not be playing very, uh, will, will be playing highly defensive. And in this really highly defensive arena, we might not see a base go off in the first game. I think it's it's, it's really gonna it's really gonna depend on who is the bravest more so than anything else, that is able to get in, able to crack it, and then just break the game over. Open. It, I, I'm i going to say that Drake's absolutely right in that this is going to be either a one or a two base game. Yeah. I, I don't think that we are going to see many bases go down. I think the second game is when teams are going to go, you know what? Now's the time to do something. And it is going to be very reactive. Now, Wolfpack are very disciplined. This is their fourth consecutive grand final appearance. They've got, what, two seconds? Uh, no, third, second, and first. Third, second, first, yes. In that order. Starting from Brisbane, then Adelaide, and then last year at Albury, they got first, first. place. Now, they're, they're very familiar as a team of what it feels like and what they need to do to win a grand final series. They've been there the, three times and they've won it once, so they absolutely they know how it works. Now, with the Spartans, the Spartans are playing in a home arena and their advantage is going to be that they are most comfortable in this arena over anything else. They've got the leadership of Mad Cans who knows what it means to win a finals. They've also got Stingray, who has been in a final series with Blue Steel before. What's going to be interesting, though, in this game is what do the Beavers do? We've got um, Ninja, Butsa, and Bulldog have all been into final series before. They are leaning on Ninja to make the calls that they need to win games. And teams know this. And if teams put pressure on Ninja... That could be the deciding factor for the Brisbane Beavers. Definitely. I think, there's, yeah, as you said, there's a good amount of uh, three-game final series experience uh, across all three of these teams. So I think we're looking at a good old grind first for the first couple of minutes. And yes. see, who's, uh, see who can grind the bestest. So now... Let's, let's introduce the teams. Starting out this grand final of the 2019 Zone Laser Tag Australasian Championships. For those of you new that are joining us, we have a three-team game here. On red, the Sunshine Coast Spartans. In this game have Mad Cans, Stalker, Stingray, Potato, Penguin, and... Fuzzy Dragon Fuzzy. is their sub. Uh, on green, we have the Brisbane Beavers. Link, Ninja, Butza, Falcon, Wooldot, and Ibo is their sub. And uh, on blue, Wolfpack, Wax, Whamfox, Pain, Husky, Lakeo and their sub for this game is Grub. So the Wolfpack actually, 
doing a very similar thing um, to their previous grand final appearances where they do sit grub the first game. So Stingray has not been tagged yet. Stingray fall for nothing. All the action in green though, early on in the, at the moment. This is the Brisbane Beavers base. Woods are in there, in that box, tagging someone out, covering for Wooldot. Yeah, Wooldot has been primarily in this uh, position whenever the Beavers play out of green. <laughs> he has got fantastic experience holding this box position. And as long as he gets comms from the back door, it's going to be very tricky to get Wooldot out of that spot. He knows how to hold and hug that wall extremely well. Over at Red for the Spartans, I dare say that's Penguin holding um, that front door and he is getting communication from that back door as well. Blue base, not seeing anyone in blue. So it looks like the wolf pack are either holding an extremely low position in one of those two pockets or they're pushing out. They're floating outside and trying to make sure that all their team is in pack pointing positions. Spartans flying away with some pack points here. Uh, they're definitely getting some action down at red. So as you can see, we, the, the camera is focused solely on their one player penguin. And the, as you said, Cougar, the guy is out to, outside giving the comms. All right, doing, they're giving comms and they're shooting players. Those are the two things. Oh, it looks like there. we've got the Beavers have cracked into red base, but no, we do have red defenders straight in there to take them out again. When the game's this tight, everyone's sort of around, I guess. So as soon as you see something go, go awry that shouldn't be happening, you just collapse in. These Wax. teams are so disciplined, as you said. Yeah, Wax is actually now in that top door position, does get tagged out. So it looks like that the teams, they are hungry for this first base. You put the first base on the board, boys, it really sets the tone for the rest of the game. Look at that phaser hold right there. He's... he's so his face is in a, in a spot where it, it makes it very difficult to shoot it from uh, that door that he's firing out of. Uh, that, that's something that only comes with an intense amount of practice, probably in the amount multitude of 12 hours plus a week, as Wax run, whack, runs through trying to collect uh, a red base, but uh, gets tagged more. We so. do have Wax's mum, Michelle, back in our chat. Thank you for coming back again, Michelle. Yes, this is game number one of the grand finals. As Potato Dude, going in for green... Potato puts Picking the Spartans on the board! There we go, the first base goes off to the Spartans there. We did see two greens lunging at him to try and get that denial, but they did just miss out on that. But Potato cracking that first base of the game for the Spartans. What's going to happen from now? I think that the Beavers are going to react to this. The Wolfpack are going to react to this as well. What will be interesting is what do those two teams, do they decide that, look, we, the Spartans have got a base? we're going to take a base off the Spartans, or do they decide to attack each other? Now, it does look like they've gone over to the Spartans base there. I did see a few beavers that were inside red there, but I'm also seeing Wolfpack at that uh, left-hand back door as well. It's like Wooldot. Oh, Wooldot paneling well there, but the Spartans are back into green. Oh, here we go. Landstalker going for green. Two shot denied oh, there by Butza. Butza went for the slam dunk there. That's something you don't see too often with the, the deny from the back door. A lot of the time to get that denial successfully, people will run down the other way to the left, or you pe see people sort of like throw their phaser up above them and sort of just fail to get their shot. But he knew exactly where he was and how to control his body and it basically looked like he dunked down on the Spartan player. Is that oh. potato back in the base? That no, was Stalker, no, that was Stalker, Stalker again. Stalking another shot. So, yeah, Lance Stalker, two denials at the moment, unfortunately, copping up a thousand points for the Spartans. Now, the Beavers are actually pack pointing the same as the Spartans at the moment. So, any base will put the Beavers into the driver's seat at the moment. The Wolf Pack are a little bit behind, but they aren't disciplined. They will be able to come back from this. They just need to start getting those bases rolling in the game. It does look like we have four beavers that are standing around and defending that green base. Only the one on the inside there, but anytime one of the other players is getting inside, they're all coming back in, lunging in from both sides there and managing to tag out Stalker that was in that uh, seven position, just on the other side of that half height wall there. Beavers are very close to the Spartans at this stage of the game, so it's really just a base in it. Potatoes base is just keeping them amongst it. Uh, as we enter sort of the halfway point, plenty more laser tag to play in this game. Uh, Wolfpack hasn't really done too much uh, at, at this stage of the game. Wax has had a few pokes uh, into red base at various stages, but nothing too successful has happened yet. 
Uh, yeah, we're looking. We're on track for uh, what? That they, low base game. Uh, One base so far. Sub five bases in a game. Um, very slow meta. meta. We have Lakeo in green. Wax is actually in green at the moment. Oh. Wax two shots in. Wax gets Takes green that. base and it's puts Wolfpack in second place. You saw how many people that were coming in there to take him out. Tag him out there. Not only the greens, but also the reds were there as well. Mancan's just making a run through green base as well now that it is emptied out. But uh, Lake Hill and Wax must have tagged about four or five players while Wax was shooting that base there. So it's fantastic coordination there from Wolfpack to manage to secure that. So uh, Sk leap there. Skitchy in the chat is asking about the high hold uh, covering the shoulder sensors. Uh, so as far as the rules read, if your arms are up like that, it's uh, not about you're not uh, you're allowed to cover the senses in that way. Yeah. Because when you put your arms up, your shoulders are naturally going to go back, which is going to naturally push the shoulder senses back up anyway. So yes, um, having up in that high position is fine. But if you do this and cover your shoulders yeah. literally by touching the pack with your chin, then that's a bad, and that will be a turn. So. Uh, during, the, during that, our uh, young Waxmas picked up his second base. Oh, Wax, yes! He got a red, he got a red. Uh, it cost Lakeo, it looked like it cost Lakeo one shot, but uh, uh, you know, the the lead attacker for the Wolfpack managed to clip, pick it up and put Wolfpack in this game. Link is now going for red. Madcans is going for blue. Link secures. Madcans two shots in. And Madcans gets the yes. blue base. Ooh, Can we actually have boys. a look at the blue camera very quickly, oh. please? We're on the over. So now, right now, I'm just going to point out something really interesting about Blue. It looks like that the Wolf Pack is not necessarily, like, I'm not saying that they've dumped, but they are doing an extremely loose floating strategy at the moment where whenever a player gets in, I'm not seeing them run in and deny at the moment. I'm not saying they've dumped, I'm just saying I'm they're just not saying, defending. I'm just saying they're inside. not defending. I'm not going to say, because I... Don't ever remember the Wolfpack dumping. I know they I've trained never it. Seen an empty I know they've base. trained it, but I don't think they ever did. And look, and as I say that, they do have a defender back inside Blue Base. So maybe those defenders who are floating out maybe got a little bit too antsy, floated out just that little bit too far. As one of the Brisbane Beavers looks like they're actually going to try it, but no, we've got two Wolfpack boys Three. back in there. So, uh, funny that you should say that is I previously hadn't seen Wolfpack dump in any games until last night. Our replay game with uh, Sharks, Cobras and Wolfpack. Butza. Wolfpack ended up dumping over to us Sharks over at Ooh, Blue Base. Butza. The master. At about the four minute mark of the game. So at the moment, <laughs> the, the two base thing, well, I meant two bases each. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what exactly yeah, what that's I said. It, yeah. You know, I predicted this right down. I see these things. As Husky is going to ruin that. One, One shot, shot denied, denied by Butza. But look at this. The Spartans. The Spartans are pack pointing the heck out of this game. The Beavers realistically aren't that far behind at the moment. They're about what, 4K behind. That is something that you could make up in a couple of minutes. But the Wolf Pack, unfortunately... They're one base ahead, but they have pack pointed extremely low at the moment. They really do need, and I think that's going to be the story coming out of this game, is that the Wolf Pack are going to be like, guys, we got slapped in that game. We need two huge games now, and that could be huge. That could be massive for these last two series, because the last thing you want is to have... An angry Lakeo, an angry Husky, an angry Wax, an angry Pain, um, coming in there and going right. Also, Wan Fox and Grub. And also, ah, <laughs> oh, no, those, they're, they're, those, they're, they're those actually, boys they're are really pretty, yeah, yeah, they're, they're pretty, pretty chill. Pretty good, yeah. uh, but no, like, and Ninja yeah, is yeah. actually going for a base. It won't put, oh no, it will put the Beavers into first oh, place. Very oh. close, 500 points difference between Beavers and Spartans now. With a base up, Spartans have got such a massive pack point lead at the moment in this game, being a base down, but uh, but they're pack close. pointing so well. And just for people Lakeo who are Lakeo putting shots into green, Lakeo gets green base. Oh. Whoa! We have time. We have time for another base. Will the Wolf Pack? 
tier one. Now, just so everyone at home is aware, the way that our final system works is it works off averages. So you take, you get your three games, and it's the average of those three games that will actually win you the final series. So it's at competition points are out of the window. It's all about the average score across your three games. If you ever wanted to see an example of why comp points are not used, here's, so, your, here's, here's your the argument. example. <laughs> uh, it's just incredible. Now, we will be going radio silent because the players will be coming down into the foyer and we do not want to give anything away. In fact, I'm pretty sure our competition coordinator, Simi Bear, will kill us if we do yeah. it. So we will go to the foyer cam, we will silence the stream, and we will be right back. But we are allowed to chat to you, so if you want to say anything, happy to throw things in the chat and we can talk to you there.